Hi, you're watching Imp for Ready. This is a quick product demo for this 100 LED UV torch. So obviously very portable. It's uh, quite lightweight and easy to use. Just going to run through a few things that you can do with UV light. But before we do that, uh, obviously UV is emitted by the sun. So it can be uh, quite dangerous to a skin and eyes. Not in, in this format as much at... Uh, this wavelength but for prolonged periods uh, we'd recommend obviously not to look at this for a long time or to wear some level of protection like sunscreen or uh, some sunglasses on your eyes so it can be used for a manner of different things um, but this light is it's very stable and it's very bright so it'll give you a consistent source of portable UV for quite a long time so a few other uses i mentioned um forensics and criminology if you was to look at the desk uh, under normal light you wouldn't see a great deal if we turn it off and then we shine this light on you'll see these uh, hidden hidden markings on the table so this is what like i say criminologists and scientific photographers use uh, it, it also highlights urine, not to say this is urine, but uh, yeah, that'll just give you an idea of one of its uses. So we've then got another. I've got uh, this nice, rather nice Scottish banknote. So obviously if you've spent money in the UK before or in Scotland, often seen that they check these so for forgery by fluorescing them under a a UV light. So you'll see that the, the CB, the Clydesdale Bank, uh, that actually fluoresces white. So it's quite an easy detail there uh, for shopkeepers or bank tellers to, uh, to pick up on. So just putting that aside. Uh, gemstone luminescence as well. It's all always already used for um, picking out good quality gems etc. Uh, I've just got a small sample of quartz here that we've got to hand. So uh, you'll see that the minerals and the quartz is actually uh, absorb the UV energy and fluoresce. So you'll see that the electrons within the quartz will absorb the light and then uh, temporarily store it and discharge it. So the main use we sell this for is, is paranormal investigation. Some people do request UV lights to be paired with their full spectrum cameras. Um, it's best to use a full spectrum camera because a normal camera will only see red, green and blue light. Whereas uh, a good quality full spectrum camera like ours will see uh, some near UV and near infrared as well. So obviously whilst you can see infrared uh, to aid you to see them in the dark, Infrared's completely invisible, where this does actually give off uh, like a, an ambient glow. And as you know from the discos, for those old enough back in the 80s, it will nicely illuminate anything white, whether that's a t-shirt, a bra, or a set of teeth, or your eyeballs. So a very good effect there. So you can also use it, again, Not probably not in the UK, or hopefully not in the UK, for uh, highlighting beasties like scorpions whilst you're out camping. Uh, and last but not least, we can use it uh, in conjunction with our sunscreen application filter. So we'll just take some of this. Uh, this is quite an oily factor 20. So considering this is only factor 20, this works really well because usually these filters only work with a say a factor factor 50 so i'll just rub that in let it absorb so obviously you can see it with the eye at the minute but that's because it's just wet the paper but when it's dry and um, we'll try and we shall demonstrate this under the uv light so i've got to use one of our uh, infrared filters with this but you'll see 
that it takes on a black appearance. So if I slip the filter in place, again, that'll filter out all of the uh, coloured light. It's not focusing too well there. Um, but yeah, you'll actually see that. Um, I'll just hide the brightness a bit. You actually see that that's uh, you can view this in the daylight using the sunlight to view uh, sunscreen application and see how well it's applied to your skin as well. So obviously this will allow this is this UV torch takes the place of the sun uh, if you want to prepare indoors. It's something you can so you can apply your sunscreen inside and make sure you, your kids etc have got good coverage. Right, well that's the end of the demonstration. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, appreciate if you could subscribe to our channel, like and share where, where, where you can. Thanks for watching.